Hello and welcome to your intermediate morning vinyasa class. We're going to begin today's practice standing at the top of the mat. Bring your feet about slightly wider than hip width distance and then relax the arms alongside the body. Root down through the feet, lengthen through your spine and then roll the shoulders up towards the ears and then down the back. Begin to roll the head in one direction, massaging out the neck, and then moving in the opposite direction. Bringing your head back to center, close your eyes and begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Continue to relax your shoulders, your arms. Connecting to your inhales and your exhales. With your next inhale, reach the arms out wide and then up overhead. As you exhale, bring your right hand to your hip and then side bend to the right. So breathing into the left side body, rooting down firmly through the feet. Inhale back to center, reach your right arm up, palms touch, and then exhale left hand to the hip, bending to the left. Inhale to come back through center, straightening out the spine. As you exhale, place your right hand to your low back and twist to the right, reaching your left arm up and over and pushing your hips forward for a slight back bend. Come back through center, place your left hand to your low back and reach the right arm up, gazing over the left shoulder as you press your hips forward. Come back to face forward, placing both hands to your low back. Hug the elbows inwards, push the hips forward and open the hearts. Lifting the head up towards the sky, breathe. Straighten the spine, interlace your hands behind your back, pressing the palms together, straighten out the elbows. Take a big breath in, slight bend in the knees and as you exhale, forward fold. Hinging from the hips, reaching your fist up and over and relaxing in the crown of your head down towards the ground. Feel the stretch in the shoulders and the chest. Take one more breath. With your next exhale, release your hands down to the mat and heel toe your feet in hip width distance. Inhale to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Once more, inhale. And exhale, plant your hands down, step back to a high plank, shoulders stacked over the wrists. Keep the core engaged, arms strong. Begin to rock the body in a clockwise circular motion, warming up the wrists and the ankles. and then move the opposite direction. Hold here and then drop the knees down to come into tabletop pose, stacking your joints. Moving through our cat cows, inhale to drop the belly, lifting the heart forward. As you exhale, push the floor away with your hands, curl through the back. Inhale, lift the heart, and then exhale, tuck the tailbone under, chin to chest. Inhale, and exhale. Continue to move here on your own, warming up the spine, and continuing to connect to your breath. Come back to a neutral spine. Walk your hands forward a few inches and then come back into a plank position. 
Lift your hips for downward facing dog. Begin to gently pedal out through the feet, bending one knee at a time. Make sure the fingers are spread wide and you're pressing down evenly between both palms. Continue to relax the head and neck and then find stillness in your downward dog, rooting down through the hands and feet. Gaze at the top of the mat, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, sink the hips down as you reach the arms up, palms facing each other. Core engaged, weight in the heels. One more breath. Inhale to stand, standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. From here, come into side plank. Place your left hand at the center of the mat, turning on the left outer edge of your foot, and then reaching your right arm up towards the sky. The right toes can be in front of your left foot. Keep your core engaged and hips lifted up high. Good, place your right hand down. Turn onto the outer edge of your right foot and reach your left arm up. Keep the left shoulder stacked over the right shoulder. Breathe. As you exhale, release your left hand down to the mat. Come back into your plank position. Drop your knees down and come all the way to your belly. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale for a baby cobra and gaze over your right shoulder. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift baby cobra, gaze over the left shoulder. Exhale, slowly release. Inhale to lift the chest, gaze forward, baby cobra, keep the elbows hugged in. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes under, lift your kneecaps. Use your core and arm strength to push yourself up into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Take one breath here. And then step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms touch. And exhale, ride the breath down, forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, step back to plank. Chaturanga, bending at the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward dog. From your downward dog, lift your left leg up, rooting down through the right foot. As you exhale, Draw your left knee to your left elbow, and then drop left knee to left wrist, lifting your knee back up to your elbow, and then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot forward, high lunge. Root down through your front foot, and then reach the arms up overhead. Press your hips down, Lean your upper body back slightly to get that stretch in your right hip flexor. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Lean your body weight forward. Prepare to come up to a standing position, lifting your right knee up. Root down through your left leg, find your balance. And then interlace hands behind your back. Straighten out the arms. Prepare to come into Balancing Warrior 3. Slowly begin to swing your right leg back as you lean your upper body forward, bringing your body into a T-shaped position. Fist reaching for the back of the mat. Step back into a Warrior 1 position, but keep the arms interlaced. Inhale to open the chest. Prepare for Humble Warrior. As you exhale, lean forward, lowering inside of the left leg and reaching your fist up and over. 
gazing at your back right foot, core engaged. On your next inhale, lift yourself up. Come into warrior one, reaching the arms up overhead, palms facing towards each other. And then open up into warrior two, hips, chest face the right side of the mat. Shoulders stacked over the hips, soft bend in your front knee. Bring your hands to heart center, prepare for a side lunge. Turn your right toes out slightly, bend into your right knee and straighten out the left leg, getting a stretch in the inner thighs. One breath. Lift yourself back up, come back into your warrior two, bending into your left knee. Gaze out ahead of you. Reverse warrior, flip your front palm and lean your weight back, breathe into your left side body. Extended side angle, left elbow will come down on top of your thigh or you can bring your left hand down to the mat as you reach the right arm up and over. Reverse triangle, straightening out your front leg and leaning back, right hand rests on your back leg. Keep the legs as they are, transition into triangle pose, left hand down, right arm up. Coming into a high lunge twist, right hand comes down. Spin on your back toes and lift the left arm up, gazing up at your fingertips. Keep the hips lifted up high. And then plant your left hand down to frame your left foot and start to shift your weight back and forth. Lift your hips up to come into pyramid pose, keeping the legs as they are, straightening out that left leg, and then folding forward. Relaxing the head and neck. Inhale to lift your gaze. Come back into a high lunge as you bend into your front knee and reach the arms up. Bring hands to heart center, leaning your weight forward, and again, prepare to come up to stand on the left leg, drawing your right knee in towards your chest. Come into eagle legs, cross right leg over the left, maybe wrapping that right foot around your left ankle, and then left arm will come underneath and around the right arm. Sink the hips down and breathe. With your next breath, slowly lift yourself up, straightening out the legs, uncross. Send that right leg back. Come into standing splits. Release your hands down to the mat and fold over your left leg. Maybe wrap your left arm around the back of your shin, kicking that right foot higher into the air. Both hands to the mat. Step your right foot back, turn to face the long ways of your mat, and then turn to face the back of your mat. Step back into a plank position and move through your vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog when you're ready. Take one breath here. Moving to the other side, rooting down through your left foot, inhale to extend the right leg up, three-legged dog. Keep your core engaged, palms pressed down into the mat. As you exhale, draw right knee to right elbow, core engaged. Drop your knee down to your wrist and then lift back up to the elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot forward into a high lunge, reaching yourself all the way up. Again, leaning your weight back, core engaged, shoulders stacked over the hips. Bring your hands to heart center. Shifting your weight forward, 
coming to stand on the right leg, lifting your left knee into your chest. Interlace your hands behind your back, pressing the palms together, straighten out the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Coming into your warrior three, sending your left leg back, And then slowly place that left foot back down into a warrior one position. So back foot 45 degree angle. Inhale, open the heart. And as you exhale, forward fold, humble warrior. Breathe into the belly. One more breath. And then inhale to lift yourself up warrior one arms reach up ahead as you exhale open up into warrior two hips and chest face the left side of the mat energetically squeeze the inner thighs towards each other rooting down firmly into the legs bring your hands to heart center prepare for side lunge turn your left toes out slightly bend into your left knee keeping that right leg straight. Inhale to stand, come back into your warrior two, bending into your right knee, arms extend out wide. Flip your front palm for reverse warrior. Left hand comes to the back leg, breathing space in between the ribs. Extended side angle, right arm comes down as you extend the left arm long. Reverse triangle, straighten out the right leg as you lean your weight back, breathing into the right side body. Keep the legs as they are as you move into triangle pose. Right hand will come down reaching the left fingertips towards the sky. Plant your left hand down and come into a high lunge twist, spinning on the back toes, reaching your right arm up. Keep the hips lifted up high. One more breath. Plant your right hand down to frame your right foot and start to shift your weight back and forth. From here, we'll come into pyramid pose, lifting your hips and straightening out your front leg. Fold over the right leg. On your next inhale, slowly lift your gaze and come into a high lunge. Reaching the arms up overhead, shoulders stacked over the hips. Bring hands to heart center, lean your weight forward. Prepare to come to stand on the right leg as you hug your left knee into your chest. Eagle legs, cross your left leg over and around your right. This time bringing the right arm underneath and around the left arm, squeezing the arms and legs together as you sink the hips down. Breathe. Inhale to slowly uncross the legs, sending that left leg back and planting your hands down for standing splits. Folding over the right leg, crown of the head reaching for the ground. Maybe wrap your right arm around the back of your right shin. Step your left foot back. Turn to face the long ways of your mat. Plant your hands down to face the back of your mat and then step back into a plank position. Move into your vinyasa here. Coming into downward facing dog. One breath.
When you're ready, slowly drop your knees down to the ground. From here, we're going to come into camel pose. We'll do two different variations, starting with baby camel. Come to stand on your knees, bringing your knees about hip width distance apart. From here, toes can be tucked or they can be untucked, whichever you prefer. Bring your hands to your low back for support. Hug the elbows in towards each other and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Think of lifting from the center of the chest. Roll the shoulders back. As you inhale, lengthen through your spine, and as you exhale, push your hips forward and begin to lean back, allowing your head to relax backwards if it's comfortable for your neck. Continue to breathe, lifting from the sternum. Holding here for three, two, and one. Slowly lift yourself back up, straightening out the spine. We'll do that once more with the option to come into full camel. Bringing your hands to your low back. Again, hug the elbows in, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. And then as you exhale, push the hips forward, lift from the heart and lean back. If it feels good, you can bring one hand to your heel and the other hand to the heel. Lifting the heart and breathing. Whenever you're ready to slowly release, bring your hands back to the low back, lifting yourself up. And very slowly sink your hips back towards your heels and come into a seat. Rest your hands in your lap and just notice how this posture felt in your body. You can close your eyes, tune into your breath and any sensations. And we'll slowly lower into child's pose, resting your forehead down, finding a more restorative variation, allowing the arms to rest alongside the legs with the palms face up. Take a few moments to allow the body to settle, to restore. With your next inhale, slowly lift yourself up and take a gentle twist to the right. Come back through center, twist to the left. Plant your hands out in front of you, cross your ankles and come into a comfortable cross-legged seat. Root down through both of your sit bones, lengthen through your spine. Plant your right hand down and reach the left arm up and over for a side body stretch. Inhale to lift. Left hand comes down as you exhale. Right arm reaches up and over. Inhale back through center and start to roll out the head, massaging out the neck, releasing any last bit of tension in the upper body as you relax your shoulders. Moving in the opposite direction. And then bringing your head back to center, resting your arms in your lap, eyes closed. Now take this next minute to fully relax into your body. And begin to visualize the day ahead of you. How do you want to feel? 
how do you want your day to go? Continuing to breathe in and out through the nose. Allowing yourself to fully embody this visualization and any emotions that come with it. And slowly with your next breath, bring your hands to heart center, sealing this visualization with a moment of gratitude. Thank you so much for joining me for this morning practice today, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Namaste. I hope to see you in the next class soon.